Chris Sutton may have been with his wee tag team partner last night, but I tell you what, he didn't need to tag him in because it was a hot tag throughout as Celtic won 3 1. And before we get into Chris Sutton's thoughts on the Champions League victory for Celtic that all but guarantees their uh, progress, I mean, you've got a bunch of easy games coming up um, for Celtic at home in the Champions League. I, I, I think they're through. Uh, we've talked about it last night in the review. Um, and I'm sure we'll talk about it in the review show some more. But that's Thursday night or Friday morning, whenever that comes up. And this is the here and now. And what I think, well, I'll tell you what, Celtic were worth their victory. You know, we can point fi fingers at Leipzig and say they were poor, but I think it was Celtic made them poor, personally. I thought the, the, the press was very good. Um, and it, it was a very good game, you know, and it was actually the biggest defeat that Leipzig suffered in the Champions League this season. And considering they've played Liverpool, Juventus and Atletico Madrid, that is brilliant. And it just shows you like how you could get shafted in the Champions League, like playing Liverpool, Juventus and Atletico Madrid in your first three games. Leipzig had the win last night, so this whole they were terrible doesn't really spin for me. It's not like it was a throwaway game for them and they didn't really care about it. They had to win, all right? They had to win. And they didn't win. <laughs> you know, it's, it's quite that simple. They didn't win the game of football. Um, and they were nowhere near winning the game of football. I thought it won now. They might have folded it, but they just did not fold. They just did not fold. Um, they went straight back into it. Nicholas Kuhn um, read Leipzig like a donkey and pretty much told them, I'm your man, and that's it. And it does leave, of course, Celtic straight up into the table um, in the Champions League. It puts them uh, actually 13th. So, yeah, I mean, 13th may not sound great, but um, for 14th to 6th, that is, they're all on seven points. Uh, I mean, Liverpool sit on four. I don't think Liverpool, I mean, Liverpool look like they're going to finish right up there. Um, but when you look at Celtic's next four games, Young Boys, Club Bruges, um, Dynamo Zagreb and Aston Villa. I mean, honestly, like, how can anyone bet against? How can anyone seriously bet against Celtic in this Champions League? Up next in the Champions League for them is at home against Club Bruges. You, you, you've got to expect a win there, you know. Then after that is away to Dynamo Zagreb. Away games in Europe, they're always tougher. But I'd still like to expect Celtic to beat Zagreb. I really would. Um, I think they've got to. Then into January, they um, are, of course, at home to Young Boys. I mean, you win those three games, that puts you on 16 points. And then it's like, all right, last game, away to Philly. It might not even matter. And to me, that's insane. Say you're on 16 points. Let's just say 16, Celtic go on to 16. I think that will be enough um, because I, I'm looking at the rest of this and I'm thinking there's a lot of teams around seven. Are they really going to win another, you know, three or so? Whatever? Now, of course, there's games to be played tonight. The likes of Arsenal, Inter Milan, Brest are all on seven. And they've all played a game less, but, you know, Arsenal actually play Inter Milan tonight. So no matter what, one of those two is going to drop points. So, yeah, very interesting. And I think Celtic are going to go. I think they will. I mean, I can't guarantee t top eight, but. They're definitely through. It would take an almighty collapse not to go through. But that's what Chris Sutton said. And I quote, One of the best displays I've seen for a Celtic team in the Champions League. A performance of real authority and class against a good Leipzig team. Trusty was phenomenal again. Hatati, Kuhn, McGregor, outstanding. Clap, clap, clap. Right, end of quote. So, yeah, I mean, for everyone that's been critical, I mean, I, I think it still is a wee bit unfair on... Liam Scales, um, you know, Liam Scales, he was in there with Trusty against that Atlanta, he didn't do a bad job, did he? But people argue he was in there against Dortmund. Honestly, I think if Liam Scales starts last night instead of Trusty, I don't think much changed. I thought Trusty was really good. I thought Trusty was really good last night, but I think Scales is really good. It's just a shame, though, because, you know, it's Scales the guy that's came through at Celtic, you know, got the move. <sighs> Irish, you think... You know, Pete, the fans would like him, but for whatever reason, the fans don't really like him. And that's not everyone. Of course, fans still like him, but Trusty's the £6 million man, and when push comes to shove, that's always going to trump um, the guy for uh, Shamrock Rovers at the end of the day. And uh, trump was a nice word to use because we all know what happened last night or this morning whenever you're watching this. Anyway, Chris Sutton then went on to say, and I quote, have we not heard through those 
people putting the boot into Celtic and Scottish football after Dortmund. Dot dot dot. End of yeah, yo. You're right. You're not. I mean, Jason Cundy and that other prick on Talk Sport. They won't be saying much about Scottish football this morning. Um, and, and you know, Sporting Lisbon beat Say. I'm not surprised. Sporting Lisbon. Sporting Lisbon are a good team, and that striker they've got, uh, Gigores, he's phenomenal. You know, uh, and against a City team, yeah, that's weakened. I, I wasn't surprised they won. I was, I was a wee bit surprised they won four one. But you know, the, the, these Talk Sport pundits and English pundits in general, like, even though they were asking that guy, I'm sure people have seen it. The guy at the press conference, like, oh, you're not going to answer a question in English. Like, fuck up, man. He, he's still the manager of Sport in Lisbon. He's Portuguese. They're a Portuguese club. What fucking way do you want him to speak? He, he doesn't owe you dick. All right? English media fucking severely pisses me off, by the way. Re- they're so far up their own arse, man. They don't know what time it is when they need to take a shite. Anyway, that's Chris Sutton's thoughts. Kind of went off on one there, but needed to be addressed. <laughs> 